welcome you all so we want us to discuss through quadratic equations these are important uh, topics that don't miss in your exams so I've written down these two quadratic equations we've got this one we also have this other one so I want us to solve these uh, quadratic equations together I want to make them very simple so that we all understand we get uh, the necessary concepts that uh, we need to have. So what you need to do for you to solve uh, a quadratic equation, what should come to your mind? So we are solving this using the quadratic formula method. So this is the method that you are supposed to be using even in your exams. You need to make sure that you use this. So the question is saying, this is how the question is, solve the equation giving you answers to two decimal places so you solve this giving your answer to two decimal places so how do you go about that how do you solve that one so you ask yourself is this quadratic equation written in a proper format in which it is supposed to be written you know that a quadratic equation is like this this is the format of a quadratic equation every quadratic equation should be written in this format a x squared meaning the first one that should start to is this one having a square this is the first one that uh, should start so this is what you need to get so that's the first one that should start so you ask yourself okay here it is this one so nothing is crossing the equal sign here they are all on the left side meaning we just maintain the sign so that is negative 5 m squared what should follow is this one that is not having a power here i'm having x but in my equation there is what m so i follow that order minus 2 m this is a c a c is standing for a constant so a constant should follow that is positive 1 plus 1 which is equal to zero like this so when i read here now i say a a is equal to what my a is equal to negative five i just get the coefficient of this one having a square then what is my b my b is negative two what is my c my c is one this is what i need to do once i put all these things here then uh, i just need now to know which formula am i supposed to use so which is this one so this is the formula that we get to use you see x have you seen so x is equal to negative b plus or minus i do this i say b squared minus 4 a c over over what over 2 a this is what i need to do these are procedures I need to put in place. After I do that, I ask myself, am I having X in the equation? The answer is no. So meaning I need to start with what? There is M there. So I need to start with M. Where I say M is equal to. M is equal to, I check B is what? Negative 2. Since that one is negative and this is negative, I'm going to have a positive here. Negative times negative, it is positive. So I'm going to have a positive there. I maintain plus or minus I do this then what is my b squared negative 2 so I say negative 2 squared minus 4 what is my a what is my a my a is negative 5 I do this what is my c 1 I do that the over this in these, these are mistakes that we get to make some people just do this then they say, what is my a5 that 2 times negative 5 like this. This one is ending even there. This is how you need to do it. That's how you need to answer. You follow procedures now. Where you say m is equal to what? 2 plus or minus. What is the answer to everything in the brackets? So what are you going to get? Uh, negative 2 squared that is a 4 minus 4 times negative 5 
times 1. What answer are you getting? You are getting 24. So we are getting 24. So I put my 24 there. I need to put my 24 there. Over. I say over. Over what? What is when I multiply here? What am I getting negative 10? So the other mistake is this one. You cannot have a negative answer under a root. So whenever you find yourself having a negative answer there, just know that you've made a mistake somewhere. There is a part where you've made a mistake. So you continue. This is now equal to, you say, this is now equal to what? You say 2 plus or minus. What is now the square root of 24? What is the square root of 24? What is the square root of 24? The square root uh, of 24 is what? It's 4.89879 something like that just going. So I'll end there. Then I say over. Over what? Negative 10. This is what I'm going to do. So from there now I'm going to progress and say now that m is equal to m is equal to what m is equal to 2 plus i'll go with plus 4.889879 over over what negative 10 i'll say o have you seen o m is equal to 2 it was saying plus or minus, so I'll go with it. minus. Minus what? 4.898979, like that. Over what? Over everything, over negative 10. This is what I need to do. Then I say finally m is equal to. So how do you work out that one? You say this one, 2 plus everything there. So 2 plus everything there, you say 2 plus 4.898976. After seeing your answer, that's when you get to divide by negative 10. You are going to get what? You divide by negative 10. What are you going to get? So what are you going to get in that case? What are we going to get? So we are going to get negative 0. Point. So it's going to be a 0. Point six eight nine eight nine like that uh, eight nine eight nine eight nine eight nine eight nine seven three just going like that I say O oh, M is equal to what about this other side what answer am I getting if I work out the part this side where I say two minus four point Eight nine eight nine seven nine. I'm getting negative two point eight nine eight three seven nine. The same answer I divide by negative ten. What answer am I getting? I'm getting zero point two eight nine like that. Eighty nine seven. Just going like that. So um, I was told that I need to put these answers to two decimal places. So putting these answers to two decimal places, here it's just a negative 0 0.6. These two decimal places from here, 1, 2. So 1 goes there, that is a 9. So this is my answer. O, M is equal to, M is equal to what? M, M is equal to what? This other side you are going to get 0 0.2 9 there. Nine. So these are your answers. This is how you need to solve that one. So once you do this, then you are done. You've solved a quadratic equation and you are given 5 marks. So I want you to understand this. This is how you need to solve it. Let us move to that other one. So we have this other one which is here. How can you solve this? So we are going to solve this one together. We are going to solve this one together. I'll show you some steps that uh, we need to do. So this one will solve it together. 
let's solve it together let's solve it together you what is your a what is your a there what is your a you check what is your a your a there it is one what is your b coefficient negative one what is your c your c is negative what negative five this is a simple data that you are going to put so that's a simple data that you need to indicate there after you do that you write your equation so since there is m m there so it is m is equal to negative b plus or minus you do this then you say b squared minus 4 a c over over what to a this is what you are going to do make sure you are able to follow this you are able to understand each and every step so you say a m is equal to what is your b there is a negative there and there is a negative here so that is a one plus or minus what is your b b is negative one so negative one squared minus four what is your a my a is one what is your c negative five like this everything divide by two times one this is what you are going to do from there the next step that uh, you are going to follow is where i say now m is equal to one plus or minus everything there what answer are you getting there what answer are you going to get the answer that you are going to get to be plus or minus if you multiply everything there you are going to get negative at 21 over what over 2 where you say m is equal to so m is equal to we continue together we say m is equal to m is equal to what m is equal to what 1 plus or minus what is the square root of 21 what is the square root of 21 you check the square root of 21 it is what it is 4.58257 I'll end here like that have you seen there over what there is over here over what over 2 where you're going to get m will be equal to what you say 1 plus 4.58275 over 2 that you say oh so you are going to say oh what oh you say m is equal to have you seen m is equal to you say one minus four point so you continue from there you say point point what point five eight two is two seven five you complete you say over two also put over two then you say finally what answers are you going to get what will be your answer now what will be your answer when you do all these procedures? What will be your answer? So when you are done with this, you discover that when you add there, then you divide by 2, you need to get your answer correct to 2 decimal places as 2.79. This is your answer. Or the other one should be equal to, your other aim should be negative 1.79. That's how you need to solve that. So these are the answers. This is how you need to work out this part. Hope this was clear and uh, you are able to understand. So like this, you won't fail any question under the quadratic equation. So we are using the quadratic formula.